What's up, traders? Matt from the Trade Brigade here doing a technical analysis on ticker symbol GROM for Grom Social Enterprises. On the left hand side, we have the daily time frame, and on the right hand side, the 30 minute intraday time frame. Let's talk about this one together as we give ourselves that daily roadmap, just pointing out obvious areas of support and resistance. The first thing I would make you aware of is that this was uplisted. It wasn't technically an IPO from a secondary market up onto the NASDAQ. And obviously, in the last two trading sessions, we've seen a huge increase in volume here. Because this is also a low float stock, obviously when demand goes up and supply is low, price has to reflect that by moving in the upward direction. And again, that's what we've seen over the past two trading days. In terms of how this move has actually unfolded though, let's take a look through the lens of Fibonacci coming in from the low of the large push higher up all the way to the high. What you'll notice is that we clearly fell back underneath the 38.2. We fell back underneath the 50% and underneath the 61.8, although it is sort of, uh, sort of starting to act as support on Thursday's session here. But the the first pullback did definitely violate all of those areas. So not the best sign of strength, but obviously with structure in place here, we're not so concerned with the fibs and it's really going to be all about this level right here. Today's sort of shelf of support at $3.66. That is the critical area to watch. If we move underneath, you're avoiding this like the black plague because anyone who essentially bought up in this area. And remember, that's a lot of people. Look at all this volume that was transacted above $3.66. All those people will be proven wrong if we take that out. And I would imagine a fair their share of them, if they're smart traders at least, start to stop out of their position, triggering a move lower, right? Bailing out of the position, selling off shares. So be careful underneath $3.66. I wouldn't look for any sort of pullback buy here, uh, noting that we don't really have any structure underneath. Maybe we sort of come into this floor in here around that 270 mark, uh, but I would be careful, right? It wouldn't be a first touch buy. I'd really wait for some sort of pattern to develop there before going to the long side. To the upside, the place where we're right is probably a visual breakout up and over 450 noting that a lot of people can probably see this, right? I'm not proclaiming to be a genius by recognizing that we have resistance here. So if we can get some price acceptance above it, I do think it's fair to say that there could be a secondary push higher. But the caveat with this, and as always with momentum plays, is that volume needs to support the move. I would argue that volume needs to be on par. Let's just say it happens on Friday morning. It needs to be on par or greater than what we've seen the past couple of trading days. And just to give you a number here, we're looking at 12 million shares plus. If it's somewhere around here, which don't get me wrong, is still elevated from the daily perspective around 5 million, uh, then, you know, just it's not going to cut it for that momentum play up and over 450. So those are my thoughts here inside of Grom. You're not obviously going to short it underneath that low. You're just going to avoid and looking for the breakout up and over 450. If you enjoyed the video or learned anything new today, let me know in the comment section or by giving the video a thumbs up. Don't forget our main channel is linked in the description. And all of that being said, I wish you a green trading week.